Today we're getting a sneak peek at the new ZAM diagram control being released as a community technology preview with 14.1. So let's go take a look. What we have here is a WPF application. Let's create a grid with two columns. Next, let's open the toolbox and search for ZAM diagram. We want to grab the ZAM diagram and drag it to the first column and reset the layout. Next, let's take the ZAM diagram toolbox and drag it into the second column. We also want to reset its layout. Now let's run the application. We already have a fully functional diagramming component. Simply drag a shape from the toolbox onto the design surface and you can get started on creating various diagrams of your choice. You can easily create connections by dragging the pencil from one shape to another, or you can use the connector shapes provided in the toolbox. Besides just adding shapes, you can also double-click a shape to add text. When you select a shape, you have the option to show a menu to the right side. This allows you to modify various properties of the shape at runtime. In this case, I'm changing the current shape's fill color, but you're not limited to just the shapes. You can also change the various properties of the connectors. For example, let's change this connector's color to green and change the end dash type to a filled circle. We also want to change the stroke of the line to orange. You can even zoom in and out by using my mouse wheel. You also have the ability to manipulate all shapes at once. You do this by selecting all shapes. And in this case, I'm going to use the menu to change all the fill colors to green. There are also a number of built-in commands, such as undo, redo, cut, copy, and paste. In this case, if I wanted to undo the changes I just made, I would simply type Control Z on the keyboard. And I can keep doing that to revert all my changes. I can also select a shape, type Control C, and then paste it by typing Control V multiple times within the surface. Now let's take a look at some options that we have on the control itself. The ZAM diagram also provides an overview pane. We can show this overview pane by setting the overview plus detail pane visibility to visible. We can also change the default mouse interaction with the diagram control. For example, when I click and drag, I can set the default interaction to pan by highlighting drag pan. So now let's run the app. Now when I drag the shapes over, the overview pane shows you which shapes are within my design surface. You can zoom in or out, or use the buttons to zoom in or out. And I can now click the design surface Hold my mouse down and drag to navigate the various shapes in the diagram control. Programmatically adding shapes is just as easy. To add a shape, or what we refer to as a diagram node, to the ZAM diagram control, Simply create a new diagram node control within the opening and closing tags of the ZAM diagram element. As you can see, a new shape has been added to the design surface in the top left corner of the ZAM diagram control. Now we need to provide the diagram node a name to be used in the connection. We can also change various properties on the node, such as its type. For example, let's use a chevron. Now let's change its position. In this case, the top left position is 0, 0. So let's keep the left position 0 
and move it down 75 points. Next, let's add another diagram node control. Just for fun, let's change its node's type. Let's make it a circle and set its position to 275. Next, we need to create a connection between these two diagram nodes. All we need to do is define a diagram connection object and set its start node name. This is the node in which the connections will begin. In this case, node 1, and then the end node name, which will be the node in which the connection ends, which is node 2. As you can see on the design surface, we have created a connection between these two shapes, but we can also customize various properties of the connector line. For example, we can change the connection type to right angled or straight. Let's just keep it straight here. We can also change the start cap type to, let's say, a diamond. And the end cap type to a filled arrow. Now let's run the application. The XAM diagram control now contains the two nodes that we created within XAML and the connection between them. We can then grab other shapes from our toolbox add them to our diagram component, and begin to create connections between them. And there you have it. The new XAM diagram control is a great new feature. And since this is a community technology preview control, we would love to hear your feedback. Download the control, play around, and tell us what you think by submitting product ideas to ideas.infragistics.com. Check out the description below for more info on how to share your ideas, and we can't wait to hear from you.